Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Eli Lilly and Company has begun giving patients antibody treatments in the world's first study of a potential treatment designed to fight COVID-19. Lilly says the investigational uh, medicine is the first potential new medicine designed specifically to target the virus that causes COVID-19. Lilly CEO Dave Ricks joins us now with more on the study and what could, could come next. And Dave, as always, welcome to the program. Great to be back. Thank you, Gary. Let's talk about this. I mentioned uh, a moment ago uh, your company, Lilly, making uh, global headlines. This is the world's first study of an antibody treatment against the disease. Previously, all of the other uh, treatments have been uh, really repurposed uh, from other diseases. Talk about the significance of this study uh, and why you're aggressively pursuing it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we're very excited. I'm so proud of our scientists who have worked at really record speed um, in the early days of the pandemic, identifying a partner, a Canadian company called Epcelera, that helped us identify this antibody, which is a protein that your body makes to fight disease. Um, we isolated this one from actually a, a surviving patient, and then we make it an industrial scale, where we began testing, uh, we announced that we began testing on Monday, and uh, we could have data coming in just a few weeks' time that could uh, show it's effective. If so, we've already begun the motions to produce it at quantity, because we know everyone's concerned about the risk of COVID-19, particularly for hospitalized patients uh, in the fall. And uh, we're poised to be ready to do that and proud of uh, Lilly being the first in the world to test uh, COVID-specific uh, new medicine. Yeah, will be very interesting to watch uh, that develop. You mentioned the partnership with the Canadian company and doing that uh, early on and in uh, a really breakneck speed, if you will. Uh, you hopped on the, the uh, coronavirus, the pandemic early on, in part based on what you were seeing in some of your global operations. Correct, yeah, as a global company, you know, we operate uh, large uh, scale operations in China. So we had seen that at the end of January, early February. It then moved to Europe, <laughs> happened to be in places where Lilly has large facilities as well, France, Madrid, uh, and Italy. And so it, was, it wasn't too difficult to determine at that point that this was gonna be a major issue in the US and we better get to work on business continuity plans. We need to make the essential life-saving medicines like insulin that we make here in Indiana. Uh, and make preparations to be um, have strong business continuity yeah. during the, the pandemic. We sent our people home early. I know that got some news locally, but we're glad we did it. And we're bringing people back slowly um, to protect uh, human health, but also the people who need to come to work to make medicine and run our laboratories. Yeah, you, you early on, you also partnered with the state and others on testing. Uh, and I know that testing, as we were talking off camera a moment ago, is going to another phase that will have some uh, uh, developments that we'll see uh, perhaps as early as this summer. That's right, yeah. So Lilly really has been a, a key backstop to the Indiana State Department of Health during the pandemic, um, perhaps doing 30 to 40% of the tests in the state so far. Uh, a reminder, we don't, we're not a testing company. We repurposed right. a laboratory to support this. We'd like to use that laboratory again to support clinical trials and other things we do. Um, and I think it's good for the state to install a permanent and regionalized mm -hmm. capacity to test. When I talk to other employers, what they wanna know is, can my workers, if they feel sick, get tested and a result back in 24 hours? So we need sites in South Bend, in Fort Wayne, in Evansville. And that's what we're working with the state on, is to replicate our laboratory in those places. Uh, Dave, as you look at the impact that the pandemic uh, has had on, on Lilly uh, and will have for the remainder of the year, give us some sense uh, in terms of the impact on the business. Yeah, well, we had a very strong Q1 in part because mm -hmm. there was some forward buying. We've said that will wash out a bit on the balance of the year, um, but we kept our guidance for the year. I, I guess, fortunately, you know, we're in the health business and um, that's typically less um, cyclical with economic turns. No doubt many businesses are struggling and it will be a difficult second half of the year for, for the country. Now we feel great about our prospects because we make products people really need, but also we've been so successful at launching new medicines. And Gary, it's important to point out the FDA has actually approved two medicines mm -hmm. since we've uh, been in the pandemic, which is really remarkable. A new cancer medicine and a, an Alzheimer's uh, tracing um, medicine. So, as well as new indications. So our business goes on, the innovation engine at Lilly is, is in uh, great shape and um, that needs to continue to grow the company and that's what we're focused on for the long term. A lot going on at one of Indiana's marquee companies, Eli Lilly uh, and company, Dave Ricks, the CEO at uh, Lilly. As always, thank you, Dave, for joining us. Be safe okay. and I look forward to seeing you soon.
Yeah, I hope to see you soon. Take care.